I'm here on East Cary Street, just a few blocks from the river. That is where the river lofts at Tobacco Row are. Dominique Maton moved to this apartment complex and lived here for about a couple months before she says she had to move out because of how the conditions were. She said she was even more surprised, though, when she learned that others had experienced something similar. It's shocking. It's very shocking. Dominique Maton says she's in disbelief because after living in Richmond's Tobacco Row apartments for two months, <coughs> this is what she says she's been dealing with. When I moved in, everything looked like put together and literally like within like two weeks, um, my bathroom started like flooding water. Um, the ceiling started to like come in and within days there was literally spots and patches of black mold. There's literally a hole in the ceiling. They're going to paint over it like they did to me the first time I complained. Maton says what's even more concerning is that her experience isn't unique. I was like, oh my gosh, it's not just me. I'm not crazy. CBS 6 has shared the voices of two other tenants with similar issues since December. Earlier this month, we shared another mom's story who says she felt duped by the complex after experiencing issues with flooding and mold. Then back in December, we spoke to another tenant experiencing plumbing issues that left behind debris. At the time, the complex said both incidents were isolated and they worked to resolve them as quickly as possible. I'm frustrated. I'm pissed. Um, I'm disappointed that I didn't know to look into it more. I honestly just feel cheated and I just feel like it's just disheartening. CBS 6 pressed Brookfield properties on tenants concerns that these incidents are not isolated. A spokesperson for the property would not answer our questions and just said, quote, when a resident files a maintenance request, we work to resolve them as quickly and thoroughly as possible. Maiton is now moving out of the complex just two months after moving in. She says the complex gave her just days to decide if she wanted to move out or move to another unit. I mean, it just really sucks. I watch every day that they're doing tours and other people are coming here and I know someone else is going to end up in my unit. And at this point, my only option is I have to move. Um, luckily, I can afford to do that, but there's other people I'm sure that can't afford to do that. Maiton says she hopes more people will continue to come forward. So the complex will take more action to address the cause of these issues. They should do better. They should care more about their tenants. You know, um, I would also say not just do, getting people to hush. If you've had issues at this complex or another complex, I want to share your voice. Feel free to reach out to me by email at maggie.marshall at WTVR.com. In Richmond, I'm Maggie Marshall, CBS 6 News.